Thank you, and thank you, Speaker Sprouls, for the honor to serve as chair of the Public Integrity and Elections Committee. I am proud to continue the work on this important issue facing our state. I'm also proud of the work we did on the Select Committee on Integrity of Research Institutions last session in uncovering the deception and influence of foreign governments working to steal sensitive information from our research institutions. I appreciate the opportunity to sponsor this critical piece of legislation to increase transparency in our universities and government from foreign donations and persons. Make no mistake, there are foreign governments and companies that want to steal our research and secrets and do us harm. They have developed elaborate layers of front companies and groups to hide their true intentions. Our bill will require three main things. Institutions of higher learning, public agencies, and political subdivisions will disclose all foreign gifts above $50,000. Any private entity applying for a state grant or contract will disclose whether they are working with specific countries of concern. And it will prohibit state agencies, political subdivisions, public schools, and state colleges and universities from entering agreements or accepting donations to promote the language and culture of Syria, Iran, North Korea, China, Venezuela, Cuba, and Russia. China recently infiltrated Moffitt Cancer Center to hijack research that was funded by U.S. taxpayers. It was found that China paid top Moffitt officials and scientists who violated Moffitt policies and federal grant guidelines by refusing to fully disclose their personal payments and bank accounts in China. Recently, a former University of Florida professor and Chinese national was indicted for lying to federal investigators looking at his non-disclosure of his China interests when he obtained $1.75 million in federal grants. The professor was secretly supported by the Chinese government and a Chinese company that he founded to profit from the stolen research. Also, 2019 U.S. Senate report found that nearly 70% of U.S. schools that received more than $250,000 from a propaganda arm of the Chinese government failed to properly report that information to the Department of Education. I too believe we are just scratching the surface of what is out there. Florida is taking bold steps to protect our institutions from countries that do us harm, and I appreciate the opportunity to be part of that fight.